Could Proxima b be another Earth planet? These are speculations everyone keeps making. The search for an alternative habitable planet and alien life on other planets is something that humans are fascinated with. There have been various speculations, and the fact there have been signals coming from the planet making people believe there is more to it. Despite all these signs, we have yet to determine if this is a message from the planet or an echo of our scientists' signals. Often, these signals always end up as echoes. In finding out whether these signals are from Proxima, scientists can tell if alien life exists. The James Webb Telescope just detected artificial lights on Proxima b. If you're interested in learning about other planets and where our progress in finding alternate life is, subscribe to our channel. We make content about outer space and talk about innovations in science. If you like this content, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now let's go back into our video. Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years from our solar system, is a fainted dwarf star classified as G0V. Thus, the star is known as Proxima Centauri. The star is the closest to our Sun and solar system. It was named Alpha Centauri and Horologium by Johann Baer in 1603. The name came from the star's ascension at noon, while several celestial bodies like the Moon and the Sun were in a straight line. Proxima Centauri is also known as Alpha Centauri A or Alpha Centauri. It is a single star system with four main stars in a line. Besides, Proxima Centauri is at the center of this system. Apart from the four stars, there are two faint dwarfs, Alpha Centauri A, also called Rigel Centaurus, and Alpha Centauri B. These make up the bulk of the mass but are too faint to be seen by the naked eye. The system is located 0.3 inches away from the border of the famous Plough Asterism in the constellation of Centaurus. Even though Proxima b is a rocky planet, there is still hope that it might have extraterrestrial life. The search for any other life out there has brought scientists to Proxima b, and they believe the similarities to Earth's size and the distance it is from its dwarf star is a viable option when it comes to planets that can accommodate life. While all these are speculations, there's hope there might be some truth. There is much to learn about Proxima b and the orbit it takes, so stay tuned and find out. You can also check out some of our other content related to extraterrestrials. Do you really believe there's another life out there? Leave a comment down below. Proxima b What fascinates most people about Proxima b is its similarity to Earth. Studies show that Proxima b is an exoplanet that orbits an M-type star. Its mass is considered to be 1.27 times that of Earth. Besides, Proxima b takes 11.5 days to complete an orbit of its star. It was discovered in 2016, and many scientists are looking into it. Even though Proxima b looks similar to Earth, certain features make it uninhabitable. For one, the planet is too close to its star. As such, it keeps getting extreme ultraviolet radiation from the star. It is estimated to be hundreds of times more than the radiation we get from the Sun. The radiation is so strong that it strips away even the lightest hydrogen molecules, and with time, does the same to oxygen and nitrogen. While most people might argue that Proxima b should be habitable because it is also the same distance from its star as the Earth is from the Sun, there is more to it than meets the eye. Length does not consider whether there is water on the planet. There is also no evidence of an atmosphere conducive to a living thing. The atmosphere on Earth is what makes it habitable and not Mars. The right atmosphere makes it possible for climate regulation and a water-friendly surface. It also shields living organisms from hazardous space weather. If you're with us so far and have not subscribed yet, take a second to hit the subscribe button. It makes it easy for us to keep creating content like this that you'll love. Now let's look at why people think the James Webb Telescope will help us figure out if there is life on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope was launched in 2018 after being delayed since 2011. Many changes had to be made to ensure it gave accurate images. 
During production, Loeb explained that if a planet like Proxima b could absorb light from its star, it could also re-emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was explicitly invented to observe infrared light. It can take photos of this light on the surface of a planet and look for patterns that might confirm if the planet has water or an atmosphere. One of the reasons why space telescopes are preferred over ground-based ones is by being above the atmosphere. They don't have to peer through the shifting air to see deep into space. Therefore, they get a better view of what goes on outside the solar system than most ground telescopes can achieve. The other advantage they come with is weather changes on Earth do not affect them, and astronomers can be sure they're getting a clear reading. The only downside to having a space telescope is that fixing it is expensive if something goes wrong. There have been cases where a small flaw in a space telescope requires a whole mission into space to fix it. Such costs make observing planets like Proxima difficult. With James Webb Telescope, we have no option for rescue. It has been launched over 1.5 million kilometers away, further than any human has ever traveled, so rescue missions are not an option. The James Webb Telescope comes with a larger mirror. Because of that, we can see way back to the beginning of the universe, almost 13.7 billion years ago. The further away an object is, the further in time we get to see it. The reason for this being, it takes a while for the light to travel from an object back to us. The ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to see the universe in a longer wavelength in infrared light means we get to see more distant galaxies in our universe and with more certainty than was previously possible. Therefore, observing planets like Proxima b has become easier and it has pushed the light out of the visible range and into the infrared. Artificial Illumination Tabor and Loeb have a scale of artificial illumination as a fraction of how the sun illuminates and reflects on the day side of the planet. At 0% on the scale, one would assume that the planet's night side is completely dark. It has no illumination. At 100%, it means that the planet's night side is just as bright as the day side. There has been a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b using this type of light, and most scientists believe it is similar to the early days on Earth with the spectrum. The studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reaches an illumination of 5% of the natural day side, then the James Webb Telescope could detect the artificial light by 85%. If the illumination reached 9%, the telescope would detect up to 95%. Even though 5% illumination sounds like a small number, we're talking about the light from a star. As far as Proxima Centauri is compared to our Sun, we have an illumination that is 20,000 times dimmer. Even then, we still have a lot of light from our star. This basically means that at 0.001% of illumination, we are still reflected in the stellar illumination. In other words, if Proxima b has any civilization in disguise glowing as Earth, then the James Webb Telescope would not detect it. The stars would need to be about 500 times brighter in this scenario is impossible. Since Proxima b orbits so closely to its host star, there is a chance that it might be tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star while the other is at night. A civilization living on a tidally locked planet might need to focus on illuminating infrastructure and get very bright orbital mirrors to reflect the sunlight from one side to the night side of the planet. All these are speculations made by Tabor and Loeb. There is yet proof to show that it is true. Earth Illumination The Earth's illumination can be seen from outer space, and it is known as air glow. Most people wonder why the world is surrounded by bright shades of red, yellow, green, and purple light whenever it is viewed from 300 miles above its surface. The air glow happens when atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere produce light to release the excess energy on the Earth. The air glow can happen when atoms and molecules get ionized by sunlight and capture our free electrons. The glow seems similar to an aura, save that aura are driven by high-energy particles from the solar wind. The air glows driven daily by solar radiation. Newer and better telescopes to detect life on Proxima b and other planets. Since the James Webb Telescope launch, 
Scientists have been asking whether it is sufficient to view other planets in faraway galaxies. Even though it is the furthest satellite telescope launched, it still provides very little data we need to come to planets with life in other galaxies. As such, there have been conversations to see if bigger and better telescopes can be made. These ventures are often costly and take a lot of trial and error. The James Webb Space Telescope launch was seven years late because of these issues. Therefore, it's hard for most scientists to develop better innovations that can be launched further into space. Despite this, the James Webb Space Telescope results are pretty promising. Soon, we'll know if there is life on Proxima b and other planets. Louvoir and Habex While work is still being done on more telescopes, it is believed that the completion and launch of the habitable exoplanet observatory, HABEX, will revolutionize space study. The estimated completion time of HABEX is 2035, and launching will happen almost immediately after. HABEX will be sensitive to all planets in the universe, although its main objective is to search for Earthling planets. Its advanced technology will enable it to measure the spectra on most planets and see if they are habitable. HABEX is also believed to have a broad range of astrophysics. The feature will enable HABEX to study the earliest possible times in the universe's history. It will be able to gather information and understand the life cycles and deaths of massive stars, as well as the elements that support life as we know it. Even though HABEX is still in manufacturing, the technology used to make it will allow HABEX to study Earth-like planets at such excellent resolution. The images from these planets will be so clear since HABEX will be sensitive to ultraviolet, near-infrared, and optical photos. The concept behind HABEX is quite compelling and will change space study as we know it. The concept of HABEX sounds so ambitious, and if it can be pulled off, then space study will change as we know it. People can look forward to more information on extraterrestrial life on other planets. It also gives a better picture of the Earth since it can look back many more years before the civilization of the world and the changes that happened with our climate. Lavor's idea is a smaller version of a telescope, but still builds on our experience with the James Webb Space Telescope. It has ultraviolet capabilities and is considered the next observatory telescope to be used by most astronomers. Astronomers plan on launching it simultaneously with HABEX, and the large UV optical IR surveyor will greatly enhance space study. Test studies done with Luvyar show that it will be able to understand what makes Earth stand out from the rest. Several observations have been made of 28 Earth planets, and the results have been promising. With such telescopes in manufacturing, details about planets like Proxima b can be clearer. Even though James Webb Space Telescope has made great strides in discovering new details about Proxima b, there is still much to be done. Better visibility of other planets and being able to look at atmospheres differently are required to help answer the question of whether there is extraterrestrial life. It also gives a deeper insight into the planet's history and looks at the changes that have happened over the years. Ever wonder what would happen if we discovered extraterrestrial life? Worry not! We have videos on our channel that talk about this and many more. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified whenever we post new content. Is there life outside of planet Earth? The conversation about life on other planets has been going on for a while now. Most people believe that we are not alone in the galaxy. There have been theories that have come up and claims that have been ascertained for years. Whether we get to know if we have life on other planets or not depends solely on the kind of research we carry out. For this reason, scientists are working on ensuring that we have more space telescopes orbiting the Earth and other planets. However, they need to be more powerful and look beyond infrared lighting to give us better answers on different planetary life. For now, we watch it with bated breath as we hope to see if our brother planet Proxima b has any life on it. If you love content like this and want to know more about the James Webb Space Telescope and Proxima b, please subscribe to our channel. We make videos every week, do telescope reviews, and look at the evidence of Earth-like features on other planets as we search for life outside our world. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you believe we're not alone in this galaxy.